Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We are playing as the, the Quill Empire, and we are expanding that madness time of peace. Oh, we just got kicked out of something. Did the war end last episode, and I haven't actually left my ships yet? Could be. There's a new hot patch that had just come out too, so things may be a little bit tweaked. But there we have it. Uh, we need to go and explore more systems. I want to explore this uh, system with the Tomb World. I don't know if there's going to be anything major that uh, comes out of it, but we're going to see. We do have a colony ship on the way to Kongoth over here, which should combine all this territory very nicely, uh, which will be good. I'm still considering building um, a frontier post right here, with the possibility that might allow to connect, to connect up this territory. But it's not really the most important thing there is. Power hub building, very good. Really like that. Colony development speed. I wonder if there's like if this leads to anything. Like I keep sort of ignoring it because I'm like, yeah, 25% more colony development speed, so we should have a couple of months off. Who cares, really? I don't know. Maybe it's time to unlock some uh, point defense, actually, because we don't have any yet, and we might start to run into some people who do that. Especially if we go shield heavy, the only thing that can counter our shields are torpedoes. So then if we have countermeasures with a heavily shielded ship, we should actually be in pretty good, uh, a pretty good situation. So we'll have to investigate that once we get that in. But otherwise, we're happy we're just letting everything just sit idle right now. And we are expanding pretty aggressively. Uh, even without any warfare, there's still some terrain within our actual uh, core systems here that could be colonized. I think I'm going to take just a little bit of a beat there to wait because we're not producing any money. Enemy running a deficit is fine, especially since we figured out that as long as we trade for smaller amounts, we're going to be in better shape. But um, it'll be better if we don't run too much of a deficit. And I'm pretty sure we still have colonies right now. It's just we don't see them in the list because they're probably part of the sector. Like if we go over here, is this a colony? Oh, no, it's actually not colony. Oh, the other planet is. Oh, it's an actual thing. Okay. We are still missing some governors. I'm trying to decide whether I am saving up the influence for a frontier outpost or if I want to hire some more governors. And we can probably make do without a frontier outpost, but I don't know. It would be nice. Where's the hostile fleet? We got crystal crystalline entities over here. Well, our battle fleet isn't doing much, so I'm going to go ahead and send them over there. Let's take care of that. Yay, spaceport finishing its queue as well. Excellent. Um, I think our navy, I mean, while we're nowhere near our cap... Oh, wait, that's the other thing with the influences. Do I upgrade the buildings? I'm trying to remember if there really was um, a frontier outpost I, I felt was very, very important to build. <sighs> we could grab something here or here. Could grab something out this way. If there's going to be anything, it's probably that. There's nothing in this system and very little in this system. This is pretty good research-wise, but I'm not sure that it's the most critical thing for us to go ahead and ninja. So I think there was definitely the idea of grabbing Yarek, but I don't know. At this point, I'm not convinced about the importance of merging this up. Same thing over here. Um, there are some decent systems here that we could mine if we get a frontier outpost there. Uh, probably Bunda will fall within my borders at some point regardless. Because we do have an actual colony here. And most likely the borders will grow out that far. If I go here, but we can colonize Corgus. Actually, quite nice. Both ocean and arctic. So what we should do... Do I have a hotkey? No, I don't. Let me get a hotkey on this planet here. And we have a colony ship being built. So yeah, we're going to be fine. We've still got that coming along. Um, and I guess maybe I'll build another one over there. I mean, the ocean world is better than the Arctic, but we may as well settle both. Well, let's take a look at... It's only size 12. Oh, that's not terrible, though. The blockers are relatively minimal. The tiles are pretty good. Oh, yeah, now we're at minus 32, though. <laughs> maybe we'll wait a little bit longer. That science ship is done. We can go and survey that system, so we will go ahead and do that. So yeah, I probably still shouldn't colonize quite yet. There's a Congith going down over here. Let's go up at a speed notch, and that'll be fine. Oh, we met someone else. Some other race somewhere, probably quite far away. I don't see them at a glance, but that's okay. I wonder, if we take a look at our species, who's got the most population? Oh yeah, this tab takes a long time to open up. Because the thing what it does, it sorts through every single planet, does a full count. We are the most populous species in the world. This does not even count the species that are secondary to us. Which 
HU something? There'd be something in this list. We might have missed it, actually. It's not the Hisma. Someone else. Anyway, doesn't matter. But we are the most popular species in the world, which is great to see. Very happy about that. Uh, I wonder how our overall science output is looking right now. Research complete. There you go. Battle group is in there, and I'm going to tell the other squad to merge in there. We'll clear the system out, and then we'll go and take a look. We've got a construction ship. It has just finished their job over here. May as well go and mine the... Oh, we've already got someone over there. Never mind. Why don't you come over... Probably have someone there as well. There's got to be something that we can improve. Maybe way over here, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you start there? Then, let's check... Ah, plus one core planets. Alright, because I'm curious to see if that leads to anything else that's interesting and useful. Uh, I think we have to go and get rid of the blockers. More worlds are good, but we know we have... Oh uh, yeah, sinkholes is a big thing. And we actually are getting more and more places with toxic kelp. So let's go and get rid of some more blocker clearance. That's going to be fine. And then we're fighting the crystalline entity, which is fine. And this science ship here is totally idle. That's all explored... You over here are not. Also over here. Let's do that. Get the debris. And then go over there. And we'll have to remember to check out this system here, which... This science ship is... Exploring this system. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up to get it to survey that system afterwards. There we go. Alright, that's looking pretty groovy. We got that done. Did we finish? Promising officer, new admiral. Did we finish that colony ship? Not yet. We have to check because it's not actually going to show up in the list, which is a bit misleading. Trade deal. Research agreements. I would love a research agreement. Thank you very much. So yeah, where's my science calculator? There it is. Dun, 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 dun. So we are... If this will actually load. The, the quills. That's just us fighting some more of those space monsters, and that's going to be a simple battle. It is the year 2270. I'm producing 121. 154 and 173 science for a gross of 448 which is pretty good and if we go and just take a look at our multiplier over here we've got 420 hey hey 420 is our population penalty which makes our effective science rate at 86 per month which is the f the highest that we've gotten uh, 11 years ago, we were packing 75 per month. Now we're doing 86. We've got a lot of new population that is currently uh, on new planets, which means they're only working farms and stuff right now. I mean, most of the, they, the planets don't have that much population, but the population we did get from expanding are not working science. And um, as they grow, they will work more and more science, which is nice to see. Got some more stuff to blow up. Have we even taken any hull damage here? Technically, yes, which actually surprises me a little bit. We're going to have to go science the heck out of those... Uh, debris later on debris we can go and mine that more progress towards regenerative hull tissue now one of the things i've realized with the regenerative hull is that like you do get 10 percent per tick but i think when the cost goes up i don't think it changes your existing amount sentinel point defense is done Ooh. okay okay hold on i do want to get the wormhole containment fields because a it is actually quite nice for the transportation oh the assist research might be super relevant soon but I really want to get uh, jump gates to see if that, like, or jump drives, jump drives to see what kind of disasters we can trigger from that. But this would result in a lot more science quite quickly. You know what? Let's grab the wormhole thing. We'll work our way up to some sort of disaster attack because I don't think we're going up to the robot one in this one. We'll see. So you're all done there. Why don't you go and survey over there? That's going to be fine. And this construction ship. I mean, I guess we'll build the mining station here. It might be a two-in-one. I'm not sure. Another colony is established. So yeah, now we're too full. So this system here has to be renamed. Let me get the subscriber list. Um, we'll start with the star. And we're going to name you. If I can copy-paste. There we go. Oh, wait. I can't remember if I can paste here. Yes, I can. Remludar. And our colonized planet will become Remludar 2. And I will need to be reminded where this is. Okay, so that's going to be added to this sector down here which is called the Bidjusk sector. So planets all the way down to the bottom. We have a lot of sectors. Manage sector, add you in over there. And what the, I'll just add this in just because it'll look a little bit more interesting and finish. 
And now we are back to, oh, five is six. Oh, right. I didn't actually need to do that. Although I am going to continue to expand Primitive Alien Civilization on Darokim. Which is, which one of these? That's, that's a different one. That's over here. Construction complete. No habitable planet as is. We're not going to conquer them. We're going to find out. Um, well, actually, this is this system is going to be worth frontier outposting just for the science from the uh, observation outpost. What tech level are they at? Iron Age, yeah. So they're they're not going to become spacefaring for ages and ages and ages. So we'll set up like an aggressive thing over there, like so. Build frontier outpost. Fleet orders finished. Battle group is done. I will send you home for some repairs. Oh, there we go. New minor mandate, which is going to happen more or less automatically. We have a lot of debris all over that we could clean up. I don't know exactly how much we're going to get out of it. Tile blockers unlocked. That's going really fast. Gunpowder has been discovered by one of the civilizations. Oh, cool. One of the ones we have an observation outpost around. All right. Clone armies, clone vats. I think the living state might lead to something. Could terraform as well. Apparently that might be slightly bugged. You know what? I'm going to go over here. More leader capacity. Plus, I think it might unlock even more government tech later on. Wow, our Prime Minister died real soon. He was alive for like a week. And then he kicked the bucket. Poor guy. Alright, this construction ship over here. You've got nothing to do. Oh, we've got a system over here. Mining station. Research station, please and thank you. System survey complete. Influence is currently dropping? Or from the outpost. And an edict. Information quarantine. Uh, I think I can probably lift that. But yeah, we need to keep uh, having policies go by so that we can keep building up our actual influence. But that is going to happen. Alright, that's all research. That's out of range right now, so we're going to ignore that. I think what you're going to do is move up over here. Which is going to be a long trip to get there. But I'm not convinced it can be helped. Well, if we ask for access rights to that green system, what is this? The Ryub Imperial Suns, we could probably build a warp gate inside there. Which actually would be a pretty strong idea. I've got an idle construction ship. Could you give me... Oh, station rights. No, totally unwilling. Okay, so just civilian rights isn't enough. Alright, that's fine. So this construction ship, again, doesn't really have anything to do down here... Oh, that's within my borders. Doesn't really look like it, but all right. And those borders are only going to grow now that these colonies are established. That's fine. So new ruler, system survey, ruler elected. That's all good and fine. We've got our abductions going on over there. Groovy. It'd actually be nice if um, there was an indicator on the star map here that showed you systems with primitives that didn't have an observation post already. That would actually be really handy. I suspect you are done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you hit the problem again. You are done building that colony ship, which means way out here at the ocean world. I don't have the tech for ocean world colonization. Oh. You'd still get 60%, but I'm going to save you for an actual ocean. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, I still have systems within my borders. But as always, I'd like to extend my borders outwards as much as possible. I think I'll just save that ship for now. What's our research here? It's quite long. I don't suppose... No. Ocean colonization wasn't there. Hmm. Am I really going to leave an idle ship? Well, maybe. Double arid worlds? System survey complete. This is 80%? Wait. Oh, this is a capital world for someone. 
I'm just gonna queue up to build an observation outpost over here. We need our military fleet to go and clear that system. And then we need to keep sciencing these systems a little bit more. I mean, I think we've done a pass through most on the X. We have a name, so we know technically what's habitable and what's not. But yeah, there's actually more stuff out here, so we could definitely expand along this rim. And I like that. In fact, yeah, we're making some money again. So let's go ahead and be bankrupt again. Go and start me up a... that. Thank you very much. War declarations are happening, but it's not me, so I'm not concerned. Go up the fastest speed for a little while. Well, things are going to happen really fast. We've got a lot of ships to micromanage here. Things are improving there very nicely. Hostile fleet engaged. And we're going to clear up the system here. Situation log updated. Nothing habitable. Okay. Uh, we know that there's something over here. We should probably go and pop them. And we'll want... Oh, wait. No, go here. Clear that. I didn't realize you were still... My bad. Now I'm going to hold shift and tell him to go over there. Finish clearing out the system, please. I mean, this is just a drone mining station. It's hardly the most dangerous thing. But it's still going to be nice to clear up. I must have already queued up a Frontier post because now we're losing a bunch. How's my um, subject integration coming along? Situation log updated. Arrested development. Oh, good. So he's going to get, I think, an experience penalty. One month remaining. Oh, and did we just finish a mandate? Because we just got a ton of influence. But yeah, we're about to soak these guys, so we'll no longer be losing three influence a month, and that's going to be nice. I don't remember what kind of planet they're on. I think they're a duplicate of what I've already got. Continental. No, that is different. And there we go. It happened. I didn't really get the pop-up for it, but it definitely happened. Uh, this Frontier Outpost. Do I want to keep it? I think I do, actually. But I think what I'm going to do is, even though I don't, I'm not over, what that district is, it's Master Indy. Even though I'm not above my planet limit, I'm going to go ahead and develop these sectors. Some people don't like sectors. I'm actually a big fan of them. Let's sectorize all this. There we go. A little bit less stuff to micromanage. My sectors are relatively rich, so they should be building pretty aggressively. Um, I've got, oh yeah, I've been storing up all these minerals. I haven't been paying attention to them enough this uh, particular session. So all my systems are making minerals. Actually, except the Donald one, so I'll give you a ton in the bank. Everyone else is doing things. Excellent. And you are on industrial focus, which... I'm going to switch you to, uh, to science at this point. That's going to be okay. All right, then we have a bunch of idlers, including a construction ship that is in orbit. Oh, you probably went and did that research lab. Oh, also, finish. There we go. Or no, this is uh, the one I just inherited. Right. Why don't you build a research station there? Yeah, we got this other task force, which... Um, merge together, please. Construction ship over here. You can build the mining station, then build the observation outpost. Cheers. And a construction ship way over here. I guess, even though it's only one science, go ahead and build the research station. Then build the mining outpost over there. We got a bunch to improve over here. Come over here. Mining, into research, into observation, into research, into mining. All right, excellent. And the science ship is idle. Wait, you're, wait, how are you idle here? Oh, you don't have a scientist. We have one available who's a freaking... Oh, this is because of my freaking elections that are going on. Hold on. We want, say, you over here to have the Spark of Genius. Excellent. And then this guy will take the available scientist here and then survey the system. Wonderful. And here we're attacking some stuff that doesn't actually matter. I'm going to die instantly. Situation Get lasered. Created. Hostile fleet engaged. 
All right, everyone's good and busy. Planets are planeting. Survey ships or uh, colony ships are still being popped out. Incoming transmission. Which is going to be good over here. Oh, who wants what? Star charts. Sure. Construction complete. System survey complete. All right, so we have some conflict over the lines here, and I'm not sure why that is. So I guess these borders are going to shift relatively soon. And not necessarily in my favor, which is too bad. Uh, these have not been completely explored. Oh, but it's an enemy ter territory, so I can't. So I'm going to send you way down here. What do you mean there's no route? Oh, you're not a wormhole ship. You, go and upgrade. This is my inherited science ship. And it's got, uh, what is it? Hyperdrive. And yeah, we don't even see the hyperlanes, so it's a little bit confusing. Alright, good job down there. Can I get there? No. I might have someone going there already. Uh, maybe not. I don't remember. And idle colony ship. But yeah, I think I might save them for over here. I mean, Arctic isn't great at 60%. But it's not the... Oh, it's only size 4. Or 8. Well, we might go with 55. Yeah, these are pretty good tiles, actually. Go ahead and do that. And it's going to expand our, our reach pretty nicely. Alright, I'm going to put a cut in here, folks. Thank you very much for watching another episode, and I'll see you guys next time.